all of hominid evolution has its roots in the same ancestral primate that gave rise to today's monkeys, apes, and chimpanzees. The members of the species Homo sapiens, alive on Earth today, are merely one twig of an extensive tree containing all the hominid species that have ever lived. Australopithecines were the first hominid species to arise following the human-ape split which occurred somewhere between 5 and 7 million years ago. The other major hominid group contains members of the genus Homo, which first arose roughly 2.5 million years ago. At times throughout history, multiple species from both of these groups walked the earth together, competing for the limited resources available to them. Through the course of millions of years, natural selection has left only one hominid species on the planet, Homo sapiens. Although all other hominid species are now extinct, they represent a window into our evolutionary past. And as we consider early human evolution, the question of our ancestry and our origins is of immediate interest. When and where did anatomically modern humans arise? This question is answered in large part through careful consideration of the fossil record and a branch of science known as paleoanthropology. The earliest fossils in our genus, Homo, are of the species Homo habilis. However, as taller individuals with larger brains began to appear in the population, Homo habilis began to yield to a new hominid species, Homo erectus. It is Homo erectus that first migrated out of Africa and from which modern humans eventually arose. However, the specifics of the transition between Homo erectus and Homo sapiens have been the subject of much debate. Specifically, there are two competing hypotheses which attempt to explain the evolution of modern humans. The multi-regional hypothesis proposes that when Homo erectus migrated out of Africa into Asia and Europe one and a half million years ago, evolution leading to modern Homo sapiens began separately on each continent. According to this hypothesis, during the course of evolution, archaic species such as Homo neanderthalensis, the Neanderthals, represented regional variants of the developing species, which was kept intact through occasional interbreeding between populations. An alternative hypothesis is the out of Africa, or replacement hypothesis. This hypothesis proposes that following the initial migration by Homo erectus out of Africa, many hominid species developed on separate continents. Among these species were the Neanderthals. However, the out of Africa hypothesis does not presume that all of these species contributed to the modern gene pool. Instead, it proposes that only descendants of Homo erectus in Africa gave rise to Homo sapiens, anatomically modern humans. This development was followed by a second migration out of Africa around 100,000 years ago, and the eventual replacement of other hominid species in Europe and Asia by the more well-adapted Homo sapiens. While both hypotheses have their proponents, DNA sequencing technology has given clarity to the debate. Because DNA mutations occur randomly throughout the genome over the course of time, the number of nucleotide differences between two species serves as a proxy for the number of years since they last shared a common ancestor. More differences, more time since evolutionary divergence. Therefore, if in fact the multi-regional hypothesis is true, Neanderthal DNA should be remarkably similar to that of modern humans, especially those in Europe where Neanderthals lived. After all, the multi-regional hypothesis proposes that Neanderthals were a regional variant of Homo sapiens. However, if the out of Africa hypothesis is true, Neanderthal DNA should bear witness to a million and a half years of evolutionary divergence from Homo sapiens. Scientists sequencing mitochondrial DNA from many samples, including both modern humans and well-preserved Neanderthal remains, have found convincing evidence to support the out-of-Africa hypothesis. Neanderthals are so dissimilar from any modern humans that they could not have made any substantial contribution to the modern human gene pool. Therefore, we are forced to accept that all modern humans are descendants of Homo sapiens, which first arose in Africa and then radiated onto the other continents 
eventually replacing all other hominid